Here's Tanner Mangum's first play. Well, first actual play other than taking a knee. 14 minutes, 43 seconds left in the second quarter. BYU up 14 to nothing, and they put in Tanner Mangum. And they're just going to run a simple play action and give him a really easy drop-off point. You see Al-Bakri in motion across the back, and he's going to drop right into the flat. Tanner's going to fake <clears throat> the dive, and he's just going to put a little pop pass right over the top in the pocket. Beautiful drop in the pocket. Great turn by Al-Bakri. Getting up, getting the first, taking a shot. Great, great first play. I love it. Ty Detmer wants to look at a completion, wants to look at a pass play. They they did kind of expedite his entrance, 14 nothing. you know, right there at the beginning of the second quarter, and you've got Taysom going. Or, sorry, you've got Tanner going. Good job by the coaching staff, and nice play by Tanner. Here's another pass play by Tanner Mangum, and I want to show you a couple things. First of all, I love the play call by Ty Detmer. What he's going to do is he's going to give Tanner – Max protect. So he's going to leave all seven guys in the block. Tight end and running back plus the five offensive linemen. And Southern Utah sees Tanner in and they're going to bring a six-man pressure. So they're going to bring their four and then they're going to bring a, a blitz. And they're actually going to run a, a line stunt with this defensive end around. And I want you to I want you to just take a look at how this BYU offensive line and this Max protect picks it up. You see that uh, that exchange at the center guard. They they log him down, push him out, and Tanner has plenty of time to throw. Now, this is a, a similar look to what we've seen from Taysom multiple times. That's just flat out overthrown over the top of the receiver. Um, it, it does kind of hit him in the hand, so I would expect Pearson to catch that ball. But it is high, and Colby has to jump up. He has to sky for it. And... Tanner Mangum put a lot of velocity on it. it. You know, maybe opening game jitters, first opportunity to be out on the field, but he skied it over the receiver. Receiver still got a hand on it, maybe could have brought it down. But, you know, Tanner, he, Tanner has got some work to do as well. This is the third and 13th situation for Tanner Mangum. And you're going to see the offensive line gives him great protection again. Um, just a four-man rush from Southern Utah. Tanner's got plenty of time to settle his feet, go over his lead leg, put a little zip on this ball. And Kurtz is running inside and Tanner's throwing it outside. So... You know, again, a miscommunication. Uh, if it's an option route, it's it's really hard to tell who's right and who's wrong. Uh, you know, I do see a defender on the inside, so it might make more sense that Kurtz breaks outside. So maybe it was Kurtz that was wrong in the option route and Tanner that was right on throwing the route. Uh, maybe it was, you know, the opposite. Maybe it's vice versa. Uh, maybe Tanner was wrong and he was supposed to throw the in. And... Uh, just kind of a frustrating thing, again, with the communication between the quarterback and receivers and seeing the same thing that the defense is showing and confusion in an option route. So whether it's Taysom or Tanner, there's still, you know, maybe some drop balls and maybe some option route issues. But, again, just a incomplete pass, and that was uh, – that provides a fourth and 13 and they take Tanner off the field at that point and go back to Taysom.